Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to do the CSS of the GUI HTML that we did yesterday. All right, so if you need access to the project files, of course, they're for free and they're available here at designcourse.com. And check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. Let's get started. All right, so basically uh, this is where we left off from the video two days ago. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and do the CSS to make everything basically look like this. All right, so let's go here. All right, so basically the CSS file we're working with is style.css. And real quickly, I'm going to put in just a comment here, at the, a couple comments in various places. So up here... Oops, I'm going to just put in um, general CSS, or maybe I'll make this global. And that will just be for these two por portions up here. This will be, uh, let's call this step one, two CSS. And then right underneath here is where we'll put uh, main GUI CSS. All right. Okay, so basically the first thing that we need to uh, start writing out CSS for is this submenu right here. So that needs to be basically this color. And it also needs some uh, padding and all that stuff. So uh, let me get out the color code real quick. All right. It's 2A, 2A, 2A for me. And we'll come back over here in our CSS file. And let me double click this as well so I can switch back and forth. All right. So uh, basically, that is sub dash menu. That's a class. So we'll put in background, that color right there, and then padding. 15 pixels, I would say, on the top and bottom, and then nothing, of course, on the left and right. All right, so let's also continue on. And now what we have to worry about is basically the actual uh, class right here for small-fld. So real quick, let me make sure I saved everything and upload that CSS. All right, so now we have to worry about these things right here. They're not looking very good. So let me go ahead and get back to our CSS. And that is a class of small-fld. All right, and I'm going to put in padding 8 pixels. Width is going to be auto. Font-size is going to be 1EM. Border-radius is 8 pixels. Copied that real quick. And border none. All right. And also the... I, th I forgot to include the button, strangely enough, because as you can see here there's no button and yet there's supposed to be one right here so I'm gonna going to real quickly just put it right out that HTML I don't know how or why I forgot that uh, so basically coming down right after this portion I'm going to put in div class equals now I'm gonna make this it, really it would be six but I'm gonna make this four because I'm gonna make an adjustment to the width of the other columns just after I do this. So inside the uh, input type equals submit class equals small dash btn name equals update results and value equals update results. All right, so uh, these up here, they were two columns. I'm gonna make them three 
And the reason being, after I found out when I was doing this beforehand, they weren't just they weren't big enough. So, so now uh, these two are six, and then two and four makes twelve. All right, so let me save this. Let's just real quickly upload our changes. All right, so now we uh, we're getting there. Uh, so basically, this portion. Both of these I want to make 100%. So let me go ahead in terms of width. So let me go back here. And I'm going to just put small dash FLD again and just put width 100%. And I'm going to add to this portion up here small dash BTN, which is the button. And then also just for uh, in the future. I'm going to put the button right here, which is the uh, the HTML attribute for these. So these are all generally styled the same. All right, so now let's go ahead and did I save that? Let me make sure I saved those changes and just upload the CSS here. All right, so now it's filled out. Uh, the update results and, and this stuff, got to get the correct colors so let me go back here to the CSS and I'm going to put small dash BTN and uh, button and I'm gonna make this a background I already know the color of that green is gonna be F I mean 7 CC 142 all right and we're also going to give it a padding of 8 pixels for top and bottom and 23 pixels for right and left color of the text inside needs to be white so that's the color code for white and then font size 1em cursor pointer because it was just it wasn't changing the cursor when you hovered over it so now we can upload those real quick all right much better okay so now we have to worry about this portion right here we got to change that text and we got to bring it down a little bit so come back here and we have to add a class real quick right here and call this ignore dash section and this will be uh, ignore dash section for the class and it's just going to be margin top 13 pixels and then also we need to make that text gray. So what was that? I think that was, um, yeah, class is gray dash text. So let's come down here. I already know the color code offhand. So it is 767676. All right. So let's go ahead and upload that real quick. And... Yeah, we also have to upload the main.php because I had that extra class in there. So, all right. This could probably stand to be a little bit bigger, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. All right, so now what we need to worry about is the actual, uh, this portion right here, which is gray. This is white. The background's white, uh, but this needs to be gray all the way across. So I forgot to add that in when we were doing the HTML. So basically, right here before container 12 needs to go div class equals gray dash container, and then close it up at the very bottom as well. Save that, and then we'll put in gray dash container. The background color, I already know what that is, so that is ED, ED, ED. Padding, we want to give it a, a lot of padding on the top and bottom, so I'm just going to put 60 pixels and zero for right and left. And upload that main.css and then also, I mean, .php and then style.css. All right, so now if we go back to the browser, we have that color correct. All right. So we're almost there. Uh, now let's focus on this portion. All right, so let's come back to our HTML. And this, of course, is, let's see. 
All right, so each one has uh, the ID of full, and then this one down here has half for the ID, and then they both have main dash titles for the CSS. So let's write that. Main dash titles. Font size, I'm gonna make 1.7 EM. The, uh, we wanna give it some margin at the bottom uh, of 40 pixels. And then text, we want to indent it because there's going to be an icon. So 35 pixels for that. All right, we'll save this. And also, we can come up here at the top. We need to add in a bold version of this font. 700 is the weight. And if we upload things real quick and check out what we have going on, you'll see that uh, we need to make this part bold. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's in style, h1 dot, or you just put main dash titles, strong font weight, bold, and then I, uh, all right, 700 mean, sorry. And then also that span, which contains that, uh, Descriptive text needs to be a gray color. So color, and that is 7 E, 7 E, 7 E. All right, so let's go ahead and upload that. All right, so, hmm, I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, it's because I forgot to upload the main.php uh, because I didn't include that 700 version. All right, uh, also there has to be a space in between here. I didn't do that in the HTML, so let me do that real quick. That is right here and here. All right, so, all right. The next thing I have to worry about is the actual IDs of full and half, so I'm gonna go ahead and we need to save that image or both of those images. So I'm gonna auto select layer here with the move tool. We have to right click and rasterize that. Control A to select all, Control C to copy, Control N, hit enter, and Control V to paste. And make sure it's a transparent background. So when you go to file new or, or Control N, make sure the background contents are transparent. And paste that in. Save for web, control shift, alt, and S is the shortcut key for that. We'll make it a PNG 24 bit. And I'm going to come back over here to the correct project folder and save that as full. And then do the same thing right here. So control D to deselect. We'll select this. Now, both of these, if you take both those layers and you right click and merge or you go to control E, here's what happens. So it, it maintains the uh, the shapes, but you, so you don't want that to happen, obviously. So you right click, rasterize those layers with both of them, control E, and now it will work. So control A, control C, control N, enter, paste, and save for web, and half. Very easy. All right, so now we have those images saved. What we wanna do is come over here and put in the CSS for that, so full. And it's gonna be background, URL, images, and this is full.png. We don't want to repeat, obviously, so no repeat. And then the position is, it needs to, it's gonna to need to come down a little bit to match up with the text. So I know this because I, I went through it already, so usually you would have to experiment with that. So zero is for the right and left. We don't want it to move at all in that direction, but the top it needs to push down five pixels. All right, so copy that, paste it, half, half, and this one's gonna need to also have margin top 50 pixels to push it away from the three containers above it a little bit. So. Let's go ahead and upload those changes. So we have the main.css, our PHP, I mean, I keep on saying that. Take those two images, put them in an images folder, come back to the CSS and upload that. And there we go. 
All right. So now the next part, you know, once we make a change to one of these, it's going to, you know, make it to all. So we'll be done here pretty quickly. All right. So what we want to do is come over here. And the first CSS to worry about is the barter container. And that needs to have this one pixel border. And that also needs to be white. So let's go over here. It's barter dash container. Border is one pixel solid. And D0, D0, D0 is the one, is the color I used. And the background is FFF. All right, and we also have to worry about the contact container right here. And that needs to be just basically a gray color. And so let's come back. And that is background. The color I used was E2, E2, E2. And we want a padding around itself and the button. So that's 10 pixels for me. All right, so then we have to worry about the text, which is class once offers. So P once offers, and I'm going to use margin 17 pixels. So basically that's gonna push it away from the edges in all directions and also I'm gonna make it font weight bold. Now inside of once offers is a span, which is for this specific text right there. And so we need to put span right here. And let me just real quickly show what we have going on so far. So I'm gonna save that, upload that. All right. so. Basically, uh, we need to push it down. We need to, to size it a little bit and also mess around with the margin. All right, so let's come back over here. All right, so the font uh, yeah, text transform, uppercase. Right now in the HTML, I did have them as uppercase, but when we get to the PHP section, you know, uh, people aren't going to enter it like that. So we can use text transform to force everything into uppercase. Display block that will push it down to the second uh, line so that it's not floating left of the offer text, the bold part. Uh, the font size, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, 0.9 EM. Line height, we're going to change to 17 pixels. And margin top, just push it up or down a little bit by 6 pixels. Also, the button, as you saw, was not 100% over here. so. Let's adjust that real quick. Button with 100%. Very simple. All right. Let's upload that. All right. And there we go. All right. So let's take this and drag it in and see what it'll look like on different viewport widths. So far, so good. So far, so good. We could probably make this later, uh, basically um, extend 100% width. All right, so now uh, another thing I want to do is add some ho a hover state for these. So all we have to do real quick. Oh, wait, I forgot about this right here. So almost done. Let me go over to... Uh, the class for that was barter data for that text, and it just needs text transform uppercase color is nine 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 six nines basically, and font size make 0.9 em, and then margin we're gonna push it from the top and bottom a little bit by six pixels, and then also I want to add a hover state for the button as well as small dash btn. Hover and background will change to 609 F2C. All right, so let's upload that and then it should be finished.
Cool. All right. That is it. All right. So if you have any questions, of course, I want you to use the new commenting system, not YouTube. So if we go to designcourse.com real quick. Uh, I don't have today's video up, obviously. But yeah, people are using it. There's a pancake on a bunny's head and awesome. So yeah, uh, if you ever want to post a picture or whatever, you're able to do so and I'll be able to respond and help you here specifically. All right, so uh, in the next, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna work on actually getting the uh, barterful.com, this stuff kind of working and submitting and we'll set up a, a, a MySQL table and get into fun stuff and actually making this stuff work. All right, so if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.